Brought to us by nerd icon filmmaker Kevin Smith Comes Comic Book Man, a reality TV series for AMC that follows the day-to-day -day operation of Kevin Smith's own Red Bank, New Jersey comic book shop, The Secret Stash. Now, at first glance, this didn't seem like the sort of show that I would be able to follow. My logic, and hear me out here, I'm a co-host of a comic book podcast. I review comics on a semi-professional basis. When I'm not reading comics, I'm thinking about them. I see comics in my sleep. Do I really need to watch a show about comic books? But, all that being said, one bored and stormy night, I decided to take the plunge and give the show a chance. The staff of the stash is made up of manager Walt Flanagan, a comic comic book artist in his own right, who just so happens to be one of Smith's oldest and dearest friends. One of them that he had was an actual cell from the show, and it's just a single solo shot of uh, Prince Adam, He-Man himself. So if you're going to look for a He-Man piece of animation, what do you want? You want He-Man at least by himself. I thought so too. Mike Zapzik, an employee known for his near encyclopedic knowledge of comic books, as well as Ming Chen, the store's technical advisor and the youngest member of the team, usually made the butt of jokes by the other more experienced guys. This is we start finding gems. He's got Spider-Man number five, four. Avengers number four, first cap in Silver Age. X-Men number six. Superman, first appearance at the Legion. Good Lord, so this guy's like almost the king of the Silver Age at this point. Oh, yeah. And then there's Brian Johnson, another comic book writer as well as director of the movie Vulgar the Clown. While he doesn't technically work in the store, he's never far from the counter or short on his particular brand of biting humor. We need a superhero for our generation, the 40-something. You had a bunch of superheroes for your generation, and then you went and got old on them. 